Hey guys, where are my party animals? <laughs> I apologize for the time. I know I wanted to be here because I promised you guys that I was going to be live. And I even forgot, totally forgot, that I was supposed to have been live on Tuesday in the evening. So my apologies. I wanted to make it up. And here I am. It's my very unusual time. But this is a perfect time. It's Friday. It's ha let's hang out. Let's talk about um, how to stay committed to your fit journey. But these are tips that I'm going to give you that I'm going to discuss that in, in reality you can use for the journey of life, for anything that you want to accomplish. I think um, a fit journey it really expands in, into so many areas. We're talking about spirituality, personal growth, um, your health, um, if it's a business that you're growing. It's, it, I mean, it can spread in so many areas. So if you're joining me tonight, welcome. Please uh, send me a shout out. Tell me some thumbs up. Tell me that you're on. If you are listening to the recording, Please leave me some comments. I come back and I listen to them. I would love to hear your feedback and how you are doing on your fit journey, on your journey of life. My name is Carmen Mercado, also known as Fit Journey by Carmen. And like I had mentioned before, tonight we're gonna to be talking about how to stay committed into your fit journey. Um, I constantly get a lot of emails or personal messages asking me how is it that I have stayed strong and committed since day one that I started my journey? Um, for you, those of you that have been following me or that are new into my journey, I have been on a public journey since 2012. And that's when I started on social media and I started sharing, sharing my journey um, as an open book. And I did it for two reasons. One of the reasons was to keep myself accountable. And the second reason was to encourage and inspire other people to know that they could do it as well. Um, so that's how this whole journey began in 2012. And fast forward today, it has been uh, like, like a total book with chapters that I had really written without even knowing. So these are my tips. I had them written down because I can go on and on. I get very passionate about these things. So I'm trying to keep it short. Um, if I forget something or if I get too long, forgive me for that. I hope you enjoy it and, and I bring you value into your life. The first thing that I always share when I'm talking about my journey is that when I look back, to today and I realized everything that I have accomplished, I realized that I had a why. You probably hear this a lot or probably something new to you. Um, to me, I kind of didn't know what people meant when they tell you, do you have a why for why you wanna do things and accomplish them? Well, when I look back, I had a very, very strong why. When I started my intentional journey, and I make it clear that it's intentional, um, I had a very strong why, and that was a health issue. When I started my journey, I had been dealing with um, health issues for an entire year, and I couldn't get any answers. I was desperate. I was kind of depressed, too. I was over-medicated. It was affecting my relationship. And on top of all this medication and, and the situation that I was going through, I wasn't improving. I actually was the same. Um, just the only difference is that I had more medication and I have, was getting more side effects. And I, it was like a chain reaction, you know, that domino effect. So it really dropped the last um, drop into the cup. And that was when I decided and back then, I, I, I had a, like a very upset situation. And that was when a doctor really like, like I would say he slapped me on my face and said that whatever I was going through, 
I was really creating it myself, that I was the cause of my own situation. And that was really, like, I was really insulted by that. So that was, that night, that was what created my why. So when I look back, back then I couldn't understand and I hated him. But now I look back and, and God bless him. <laughs> God bless him because he was that person that pushed me into beginning my journey intentionally, okay? And I'm going to go back and say why I keep emphasizing the intentional word. Um, so that's when I started my journey. Um, I had it, and I said, I'm committed to change my health. Nobody knows me better than myself, and I simply came into my kitchen and put a, nova, a notebook on the counter, and I empty all my cabinets, and um, I empty everything in the fridge, and I said, from now on, everything that goes into my mouth is gonna be locked. And I'm gonna keep track of everything that I'm eating, and I'm gonna keep a diary as to what I'm consuming and what is my body reacting or how is my body reacting, okay? And I added some other components to it, which I'm gonna share with you. So that's why your why it is so important, because if you don't have a strong why, it's just like another fat diet or fashion statement is something that it won't last. It won't make you commit so much to keep strong with it. That's why when I help my clients, when they want to start their own fit journey, and they come to me with a surface um, as to why they want to lose weight, it's always about the physical and I tell them, if, if that is the reason why you're going to do it, don't, don't even start. Because after two weeks and three weeks when it gets hard and difficult, um, you're going to give up because you don't have that strong reason as to, you know what, no matter how difficult it gets, I'm going to continue moving forward. So, guys, find that why. Why do you want to achieve and change your health? I... I I believe that um, I'm in my 40s and there's no better way, like I call it, to put money into your piggy bank than to start your journey now. Your body would adjust and change and be grateful that you have decided to change now. I, it doesn't matter your age, your body would be grateful and it's the best way that you can invest in your um, future when you get older instead of spending on medicine and, and having to go to the doctor spend it on your health on your fitness okay so the second thing that I added into my life as I look back that really made that strong change was accountability and it's a total different accountability uh, let me go a little step back um, I have always been a gym rat Yes, I used to be that girl that was always at the gym, but this is what everything changed. I became intentional after I had a reason why um, it was no longer about hanging out at the gym or just showing up at the gym. It was beyond that, okay? So I started having a different accountability. Um, it was virtual. I, I found this virtual accountability, which is 24 hours uh, for the time frame that I wanted to use it. Um, it's not a day accountability, and this is why I, I, I have nothing against the gym. Like I said, I even met my husband at the gym. I used to be that gym brand. Um, but, you know, I went through so many things that I really dis disliked it. Like, I had to fight for parking, I had to drive to traffic. I had to fight for machines. Um, I have to improvise my workouts every single day, so I wasn't really working out my body like I needed to. So to, coming back to accountability, even though I had accountability at the gym, quote unquote, because you know you have your gym bodies, that is not really accountability. Accountability is 
that person that you have to report to on a daily basis. You choose to report to that person because you want change, you want progress, you want to, um, you know, go from A to C. You don't want to stay at, at A, B, C. You want to go through the entire alphabet. And I love to use analogy, so just play along with me. Um, so that's where accountability comes in. Accountability is like having a success partner. It's having that person that you have to report to, and whether you like it or not, it's gonna tell you what is it that you're doing wrong, and um, it's gonna encourage you to stay committed, that it doesn't matter how difficult it gets, uh, when it's cold in the morning and you need to get out of bed, that you still do it, because you have your why, remember your why? Um, but you also have a goal. And, and this is the, the third one that I'm sharing is about having that end goal. Uh, what is it that you want? You want to transform your health. You want to transform your body. Um, you want to become you know, stronger. I, I, if you have seen some of my posts, I'm very into, um, what is it? It's not skinny but strong is the new skinny. Um, I think when you have the mentality about fitness, it should not be about becoming skinny or uh, about having the abs. If it happens, it's a bonus. I remember when I started my journey, I had no abs. That wasn't my goal, honestly. That it happened, yes, it happens. Your body starts to change the way that you start eating and you start changing and you, you know it's consistency, those are the bonuses that you start seeing, okay? But it shouldn't be the reason why you start. So you need to have that end goal. I, I always, always stress that it should be health related. There's, there's no price tag when it comes to health. And we all have the same ability to achieve it. We have the power to do it. We all have the same hour, so please don't use the excuse that you don't have time. We all have the time, okay? So the fourth thing that I added into my life is personal growth. And yes, um, a lot of people have this issue like, um, I don't need self-help. Um, I don't have time to read. Um, or they think that they stop learning when they stop going to school. And, and, and if you had heard me as well, I have this philosophy, life is about learning every single day. If you're not learning on a daily basis, you're not growing, actually you're not living because life is about what you learn on a daily basis and how you allow that um, teaching or, or that lesson to come into your life and stay and pay it forward. So personal growth had really um, changed my entire life from like zero to, a, to, to 360 completely. I believe that besides having a why, personal growth, personal development has been that missing ingredient that I didn't have in the past that now I have and I have acquired and I have like hold it really tight to it and I won't let go because the more that I grow in the inside the more that it shows in the outside and I hope that makes sense um, so if, if, if you do not do personal development and you don't know where to start I encourage you um, right now I'm reading the compound effect uh, with my team and it's all about, this is what you need to understand, guys. Um, a journey, it takes daily components, okay? So you have to understand that even if it's just that you're doing your workouts on a daily basis or you're doing your nutrition or what is it, whatever that you're doing in life that you want to achieve, whether it's to grow your business, regardless that you don't see the progress, it is progress. Let me give you an analogy. It's like having a seed and planting it. And you only see the outside, but in reality, 
what is really happening is under here, on the earth, on the area that you don't get to see it. Those are the little components that happen every day. That is when you're building your business. That is when you're building your feet journey, um, meaning that you're getting up every day and you're doing your workout and you're eating, um, your healthy eating, um, and you are staying committed regardless, regardless what other people might say or regardless how you feel or regardless of you not seeing the results. Because it's happening here in, in closed curtains, in other words, but it's growing, it's happening. And all of a sudden, it could be, I don't know, 90 days, 120 days, suddenly you start seeing that flower blossom and that's when you start seeing the changes in your body the changes in your health in your clarity the way that you you think you don't have that foggy brain anymore you don't have that lack of energy um, anymore you start seeing all those little components that start to change in your life and that's why um, Staying consistent plays such an important role in everything that you do in life. So let me just recommend you, if you're looking for us to start your personal development, start with the compound effect. Like I said, I'm reading that right now with my coaches, and it's gonna teach you that, like I said, anything that you do in life, it, it is part of this little, components that you do on the daily basis that are going to transform your feet journey, okay? So we talked so far about having a why, about having that accountability, about personal growth. We talked about goals, and now I'm going to tell you about surrounding yourself with the people that want the best for you, that want to lift you higher. These are the people that are gonna encourage you to keep moving forward, to keep going and getting up and pushing and pushing yourself. It's not gonna be those people that are gonna say, you look fine the way you are. You don't need to do that. Why don't you come and hang out with us on, on Friday for happy hour? You know, in life you need to understand that some people come to our lives for a short term and some people come to our life to stay a little longer. But you have to understand that if you want to grow and you want to become a better version of yourself, sometimes you need to let go of those that are not bringing you forward, okay? So surrounding yourself with the right people makes a huge difference. People that want the best for you and are gonna lift you higher and are gonna encourage you and sometimes are gonna push you and, and you should be be happy and proud that they're gonna tell you, you know what, you shouldn't have done that. You should go back and do this, or you should try this a little better. You can do it, you are worth it, okay? Remember, you are worth it, your health is worth it, and that's all that it matters. So always keep that in mind. Another thing that I do is about changing things up. I like to change things. Um, it depends on what I'm doing. Every 60 to 90 days, I like to do something different because your body does get used to it. So I have different programs that I do at home. Like you heard me before, I used to be a gym brand. Now I'm a homebody. I have my business that I run from home. I have my studio here in my house that I do my workout, and I absolutely love it. Um, I hear a lot of people say to me, no, I cannot work out at home. I, I, wor I work already at home. I need to get out of my house. And, and it's funny because I said, why? You know, maybe you should look at your house. Um, I had someone, someone very wise said to me once, your house should be your oasis. So make your house comfortable enough that you have no reason why you wanna run away from it. Your house should be your staycation. Your house should be that place that when you come in, you don't wanna leave. You feel so comfortable, you feel so homey, so warm, it's so inviting. 
that you don't need to go on vacation. You just feel comfortable. And that is my home. That's why I could be in my home um, three days, seven days, and, and I don't get tired. I don't, I don't feel like I need to run away from it because I made an intention to make it that way, that I enjoy my time in my house and anything that I have to do within my house. So guys, make sure that if you're working at home or wherever you're working out, change things up because like I said, your body gets used to it. You see, I'm rambling, I go from one point to the other, but that's me. I'm keeping it real, guys. This is me, who I am. I get passionate, and I just like to share the way that I think and um, everything that runs through my mind. <laughs> so, the last thing is affirmations. Um, this is a big one, okay? I mean, I think all of this combined together makes the perfect um, recipe. All these ingredients are the perfect recipe, affirmations. Guys, make sure that every day you go back and remind yourself how worth it you are to transform your health and your body. You are so worth it. You are so worth it. And I'm gonna say it one more time, you are so worth it. Love yourself enough that you are going to commit and you're not going to miss a day in your life when it comes to your fitness, okay? Um, I love to say to myself every morning, I go from good to great. I got this. I can handle it. I can handle it. I see myself at the ma as the masterpiece that God created me to be. Um, I'm a boss girl. I... I'm a badass. You know, all those things, nobody's going to tell you those things. It is your own responsibility to tell you those things. Look at yourself in the mirror and remind yourself that no matter what, you deserve this because, you know, at the end of the day, when you get sick, life is going to continue the same way, okay? So... If you're using the excuses that you don't have time, you're too busy, you have kids, um, you have, you know, family, um, you cannot squeeze it in, well, guess what? Guess what? And this is gonna be rough because this is who I am. Um, own it, okay? Own it, know that you're making excuses because we all have the same 24 hours. We all have hectic schedules. Um, because I don't have kids, I'm not an exception. I have two businesses that I run. I have fairy kids that if you follow my journey, you have seen them everywhere and they're right here somewhere. Um, I have my husband. I have three different properties that we are constantly going to and hopping to. So, I mean, our agenda is pretty full. When I go to the shopping, to go shopping like this weekend, um, I'm in town. So that means that I have to do an overhaul at the supermarket for three places. So, you know, it's all about perspective, okay? At the end of the day, it's all about perspective. When you get sick, sickness doesn't knock on your door and ask you if you have the time. They, it doesn't. It doesn't matter if you're on vacation. It doesn't matter where you are. When you're going to get sick, you will get sick. And life will continue regardless of where you are, if you're in bed, or if you have to get up and go to work. So, guys, I encourage you. You all have 30 minutes. You need to look in your schedule and see your priorities. I don't watch TV because to me it's not a priority. That I have it in the background when my husband is watching TV and I hear it when I'm cooking, that's a different story. But that I sit down to watch TV, I, I'll be honest, I don't. I can do so many other things with my time that it really, even on my Sundays that I had shared with you that I like to quiet myself, I still find it hard to watch TV because uh, my mentality is that I, I can do so many other things. I can be more efficient in other things. 
Use that time to work out, okay? You don't need to know the latest that is on TV. You don't. You need to know the latest that you can change and transform your health so that you, tomorrow you have more energy, that tomorrow you have a better relationship with your family, with your coworkers, because it's everything a compound effect. When you feel good about yourself, you treat other people better. My dog is here. When you are feeling good about yourself, you have a better um, you have a better energy, a better vibe. People want to be around you. They want to surround you. They want to get inspired. You know, so all those little things, they change you. And that's what really happens when you achieve that change in your health, in your fitness. And when you start feeling all those little effects, you don't want to go back. That's when you start... <laughs> to get committed <laughs> you see my baby here <laughs> she wants attention so guys you know that's those are like my ingredients that had really helped me and and pushes me every day um i also when i started my journey um i became a coach and i became a coach because i really want to have that intention in my life that I was gonna I was not gonna do any any excuse as to why I wasn't gonna pursue my goal I didn't want to allow myself to have excuses I didn't want to go through that so that's why I became a coach myself and when I started seeing you know all the changes and and I started seeing um, the side effects, you know, all the plus, all these ingredients. Like I said, I started introducing personal development. I started to realize my why. Um, I started to surround myself with people that were lifting me higher. I went and were seeing the best in me, and they were making sure that they would share with the, with me that on a daily basis, on my accountability with them. So. That created a passion within me, and I said, you know what, this is awesome. I should be sharing this with the world. So that's when I started hosting my own accountability groups, and I started mentoring others and helping others because I wanted them to experience the same joy that I was going through, the same joy of, you know, implementing all these ingredients in their life, you know? And, and let, me, let me repeat them again, um, in case you have forgotten. These ingredients are having a why, um, having accountability, having personal growth, um, surrounding yourself with people that lift you higher, having goals, having goals that you put a date and you pursue them. You don't just have them in your mind. You just write them down, you see them on a daily basis, and you go after them. Um, Changing things up, having your affirmations. Remember, you go from good to great, and you, you develop an unwavering belief that you are going to make it and do it and become better, become a badass, okay? So, guys, those are really my ingredients that I wanted to share with you. These ingredients are not just for your journey. This is for anything in life. And if you feel that you want to be part of that accountability and, and you're ready to bring change into your life and you want to experience the same thing that I have been sharing with you, feel free to private message me. I host private groups. Actually, I have one starting at the beginning of the month. I believe it's the third. It's the first Monday of October. And I'm already signing some people up. I have a few spaces open and I host them for 30 days, but I provide you my accountability as long as you want it to. It's all about, um, I'll be honest with you, I, I tell you, I, if you're committed, I meet you at the same level of commitment that you have. So if you wanna give me 150, I give you 150, I'm there for you all the way, all the way. 
I'm an open book. I open my kitchen and I teach you everything that you want to know. I bring you into my studio and I teach you everything that you want to know. But at the end of the day, it comes from you. It comes from you wanting to change your health, change your future, change your present situation and know that loving yourself and knowing that you're worth it is priceless okay so guys that's all that i wanted to share with you tonight thank you for being here for being some party animals with me i have my pj some and i'm ready to go <laughs> to bed because i'll be honest i go to bed by 10. oh yeah this party animal goes by to bed by 10 and um i have a full Saturday. I need to get up. I'm trying to see if I get up at 6. Hopefully, I need to get up before that. I have like a really rigid schedule, but um, I'm planning somehow um, hopping on tomorrow because on Sunday, like I shared with you, it's my day that I totally disconnect. And if you had missed that video, look it up somewhere down here. Um, but Tomorrow, if I get the chance, hopefully I do. I want to share with you some of the things, nothing related to fitness, some of the things that I do on the day that I disconnect, okay? So guys, once again, thank you for here, for spending to the night with me on Intentional Living with Carmen. If you want, him, if you want me to bring any subject or any topic, by all means, share it below. Leave me your comments. I want to hear from you and I want to thank you. Thank you for being part of my journey. Thank you for supporting me and just sharing me from the other end on social media. It's awesome. It's a blessing. And I'm humble. I'm humble to have you in my life. Have a great night. If you found value and you know somebody that can um, gain something from it in their life, by all means, share it, okay? Thank you very much. Have a great night. God bless. Sweet dreams. Ciao.